Determination overcomes all hurdles. Arunima Sinha, a former national volleyball and football player, boarded the Padmavati Express train at Lucknow for Delhi on April 11, 2011, to take the qualifying examination to join CISF. She was pushed out of a general coach of the train by some thieves who wanted to snatch her bag and gold chain. Immediately as she fell on the railway track, another train on the parallel track crushed her leg below the knee. She was rushed to the hospital with serious leg and pelvic injuries and lost her leg after doctors amputated it to save her life. Recounting the incident, she said, I resisted and they pushed me out of the train. I lay bleeding on the track and could not move. I remember seeing a train coming towards me. I tried getting up. By then, the train had run over my leg. I don't remember anything after that. She was offered a compensation of rupees 25,000 by the government of India. Following national outrage, the then Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports, Ajay Makan, announced an additional amount of rupees 2 lakh as medical relief, together with a recommendation for a job in the CISF. Indian Railways also offered her a job. On 18 April 2011, she was brought to All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, for further treatment. She spent four months at the institute. She was provided a prosthetic leg free of cost by a private Delhi-based company. An inquiry by the police into the incident raised doubts over her version of the accident. According to the police, she was either attempting suicide or had met with an accident while crossing the railway tracks. Arunima claimed that the police was lying. Contrary to the claims of the police, Lucknow Bench of Ilabad High Court ordered Indian Railways to pay a compensation of rupees 5 lakh to Arunima Sinha. While still being treated in All India Institute of Medical Sciences, she resolves to climb Mount Everest. She was inspired by cricketer Yuvraj Singh, who had successfully battled cancer to do something with her life. She excelled in the basic mountaineering course from the Nehru Institute of Mountaineering Uttarkashi and was encouraged by her elder brother Om Prakash to climb the Everest with a prosthetic leg. On 1st April 2013, Sina and Susan Mato, a TSAF instructor who had together climbed Mount Chanser Kangri 6,622 meters in 2012, under the guardians of Bachindri Pal, started their ascent of Mount Everest as part of the Tata Group sponsored Eco Everest Expedition. After a hard toil of 11 hours, Sinha reached the summit of Mount Everest at 10:55 a.m. on 21st May 2013 becoming the first female amputee to scale Everest. She took 52 days to reach the summit. The then Union Minister of Sports, Jitendra Singh, congratulated Arunima Sinha on her achievement. The Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Akhilesh Yadav, handed over to her a check of rupees 20 lakhs from the state government and another of rupees 5 lakh on behalf of his political party at a function organized at his five Kalidas Mal residence in Lucknow. The chief minister said, Sinha, by her hard work and determination, climbed the Mount Everest and created history. Arunima Sinha is now dedicated towards social welfare and she wants to open a free sports academy for the poor and differentially abled persons. She donates all the financial aids she gets through awards and seminars for the same cause. She has proposed to name the academy as Pandit Chandrasekhar Viklang Khel Academy.